All right, everyone, welcome to a quick how-to video on peg installation. Pegs. So it looks like they uh, click once and then they stay next to the bike. And then if you push them in a little bit, click all around. I wasn't, uh, I don't even know if I ever plan on having a passenger. I had a friend's niece and nephew ride with me once, like a block. They were a little, they were probably like 50 pounds. So they were able to kind of put their feet somewhere. It was a really short ride anyways, but uh, here's the other one. This is the right one. No, it's the left one. So These were 39 bucks off the Juice website. Like I said, I wasn't even going to get pegs, but you never know. It's nice to kind of have them. I actually don't mind the, uh, actually don't mind the way this accessory looks, even though I might not, uh, might, might use it a lot. So it's going to go like that. Screw, this must be for the, the, the Hyper Scorpion, I think. As these screws go here, and these are way too short to go all the way through. That'd be too short. So what we're going to use is those two. It's like weird. I'm looking through the camera to grab this stuff. It's strange. Four of these. And then all those. Like I said, these must be for the Hyper Scorpion. We don't need these. So the tools we needed, half inch. I'm not sure what this is in millimeters, but there's a millimeter that's basically half inch. I'll put it in the on the screen somewhere. But right now I'm just call it a half inch. A half inch goes for this bolt. And then these for that. And this is a six millimeter. So six millimeter Allen. And then half inch wrench for this. Seems like the install is pretty easy. So it looks like there's threads here. It's actually like a good set of threads there. So I'm gonna leave this open like so. Start. Camera keeps shutting off on my phone because it's super warm. So I'll try to do this fairly quick. So I'll thread this one in. So I don't want to cross thread, make sure it goes in nicely. All right. All right, my camera just keeps shutting off. It's so hot. So I got to do this pretty fast. So I screwed this one in here that one in mostly it kind of pops out of the back here as you can see normally i take my battery out when i do any work on the bike but there's really no contacting with anything electric so i'm taking a chance i guess but so that's like that and then oh, it was a little tough uh because this is hollow here so after I got the first, you know, there's like a hollow. So this bolt has a space between this where it grabs here and here. It's a little tough to uh, push it. It's like it, there was probably some paint or something in there. So I really had to push to get it through, guided through that side. So if it gets a little, I have to get a little, uh, put a little force behind it when you get past the first spot. So we're gonna screw this in a little more. Okay. Screw 
this one a little more. I kind of want it just out enough so I can get a nut on. Washer. And then make sure this nut thread's nice. So, I never did this before, so I'm just kind of, you know, it's decently easy. I'm going to hold this side and then screw it in. The screw itself is tight. Then you gotta tighten the back. Now these are really sturdy, I'll tell you that. The size of the threads on these are pretty beefy. Alright, that is tight. So look. Look up, my tires are getting bald. I don't know, should I do the other one on video? I guess we'll see. Okay, another quick random side note. That's the pegs. Peg. Here's the other one. Maybe I'll put it on in the video. I don't know. But, uh, so I got two new ones of these. I replaced this one. And you can see this one's cracking already. This is the old one, though. These keep cracking on me, but what I think was going on, this arm was really bent, especially down at this end. It had like a kink in it. And this arm was like a little warp. So I took both these arms off and then I put them in a towel and I laid them flat on cement and I banged them straight. It's just like aluminum, so it wasn't a big deal, but now they're really straight. I left this old one on just because it's not totally broken yet, and I have an extra. So, but I don't think the new ones are gonna break because I, I straightened out these arms. So I'll let this crack. I'll let this crack here kind of do its thing. If it fully breaks, I have another one. If it doesn't break, fine. But I feel like my light is a lot straighter than it was. All right, back onto the pegs. down now I'm just torquing them real tight all right that's it here's the pegs my battery is about to run out thanks a lot for checking out the short video on how to use the pegs I like them now this one's a little more sturdy like this. I wonder if they're going to make noise when I'm riding. But I think you can tighten this nut and bolt here to kind of squeeze that a little tighter. I'm going to try to do that, but... Alright guys, gals, appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the, uh, the 
the video again. Hyper Scrambler 2, peg installation. Maybe next time we'll, uh, we can test them out, see what a passenger thinks about them. All right, stay tuned for that episode. Oh, real quick, press in. That keeps it in a lock position, push all the way in, and it comes out. Little press, big press. All right, until next time, thanks again. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe, and see you soon. Hyper Scrambler 2.